Good evening. Welcome to Zoomer Hall, live from the Zoomerplex in downtown Toronto. My name is Mark Wigmore, host of The Oasis. We just wrapped up after the news break there. Here on the new Classical FM, and today we are celebrating old friends and new with a talented roster of new Classical FM hosts performing for you. Masterful pianist Daniel Bnukowski, a host of the Classical Jukebox, a brilliant violist Kathleen Kajioka, host of A Little Night Music, of course, and the voice of the new Classical FM, host of Nocturne, host of her wildly popular podcast. Marilyn Lightstone is here with a set of poetry readings to go with the music. Beethoven, Bach, John Fuller, and Maya Angelou. It's going to be wonderful. And we're going to meet a new set of uh, friends tonight as well to the Zoomer Media family. Michael Vincent, his popular online classical music service Ludwigvan.com. Brett Chang from his fantastic online business offering The Peak. Our Zoomer Media founder Moses Zneimer will share his thoughts as well. It's an evening of celebration, poetry, and music. We will start with Daniel Bnufkov live from Zoomer Hall here on the new Classical FM.
just to let you know, I'm hoping you're going to at least smile, and if you want to laugh, that's fine too. <laughs> this poem is called Valentine. The poet is John Fuller. The things about you I appreciate may seem indelicate. I'd like to find you in the shower and chase the soap for half an hour. I'd like to have you in my power and see your eyes dilate. I'd like to have your back to scour and other parts to lubricate. Sometimes I feel it is my fate to chase you screaming up a tower or make you cower by asking you to differentiate Nietzsche from Schopenhauer. I'd like successfully to guess your weight and win you at a fate. I'd like to offer you a flower. I like the hair upon your shoulders falling like water over boulders. I like the shoulders too, they are essential. Your collarbones have great potential. I like your particulars in folders marked confidential. I like your cheeks. I like your nose. I like the way your lips disclose the neat arrangement of your teeth, half above and half beneath, in rows. I like your eyes. I like their fringes. The way they focus on me gives me twinges. Your upper arms drive me berserk. I like the way your elbows work on hinges. I like your wrists. I like your glands. I like the fingers on your hands. I'd like to teach them how to count. And certain things we might exchange, something familiar for something strange. I'd like to give you just the right amount and get some change. I like it when you tilt your cheek up. I like the way you nod and hold a teacup. I like your legs when you unwind them. Even in trousers, I don't mind them. I like each softly molded kneecap. I like the little crease behind them. I'd always know, without a recap, where to find them. I like the sculpture of your ears. I like the way your profile disappears whenever you decide to turn and face me. I'd like to cross two hemispheres and have you chase me. I'd like to smuggle you across frontiers or sail with you at night into Tangiers. I'd like you to embrace me. I'd like to see you ironing your skirt and canceling other dates. I'd like to button up your shirt. I like the way your chest inflates. I'd like to soothe you when you're hurt or frightened senseless by invertebrates. I'd like you even if you were malign and had a yen for sudden homicide. I'd let you put insecticide into my wine. I'd even like you if you were a bride of Frankenstein or something ghoulish out of Mamoulian's Jekyll and Hyde. I'd even like you as my Julian of Norwich or Kathleen Neuhulahan. How melodramatic if you were something muttering in attics, like Mrs. Rochester or a student of Boolean mathematics. You are the end of self-abuse. You are the eternal feminine. I'd like to find a good excuse to call on you and find you in. I'd like to put my hand beneath your chin and see you grin. I'd like to taste your Charlotte Russe. I'd like to feel my lips upon your skin. I'd like to make you reproduce. I'd like you in my confidence. I'd like to be your second look. I'd like to let you try the French defense and mate you with my rook. I'd like to be your preference. And hence, I'd like to be around you when you unhook. I'd like to be your only audience, the final name in your appointment book your future tense. Thank you. Well.
My goodness, I feel liked. Every part of me feels liked right now, and hopefully you do as well. You're with the new Classical FM. We are live from Zoomer Hall tonight. My name is Mark Wigmore. Thank you for joining us. We're celebrating an exciting expansion of the Zoomer Media family, and uh, we'll be hearing uh, more works for music and poetry, but uh, we just heard pianist Daniel Bnukowski, host of the Classical Jukebox, with Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, of course, very beautiful. Violist Kathleen Kajioka, host of A Little Night Music, in performance with J.S. Box, Cello Suite Number 1, The Prelude, and Marilyn Lightstone there with John Fuller's poem, Valentine. And you can hear Marilyn throughout the broadcast day, the voice of the new Classical FM. We're also welcoming a new set of prestige properties and partnerships to the Zoomer Media family, and we're going to get to our first guest here, this evening. Michael Vincent, he is the publisher and editor-in-chief of Ludwigvan.com and Ludwig Van Montreal. He's a composer, blogger, uh, music critic, founder of this incredible online resource, and I'll admit that uh, Ludwig Van has been a great help in my uh, research over the years. So Mike, Michael Vincent, welcome. Great to be with you. Thanks for having me. So you had a lot in your quill. You were busy, but why did you decide to start this service? What was missing out there in the world? Um, I was a music critic for The Star, um, and we were watching a lot of our uh, arts content kind of dwindling, The Star. So uh, what that meant for us is that, uh, you know, arts means a lot to us in the city, and I think Toronto deserves to have a vibrant uh, media talking about uh, classical music and opera. So instead of complaining about it, we started Ludwig van, and uh, yeah, and that was in uh, 2017. So we're going back. Absolutely, congratulations. I remember uh, Mervon Mehta from uh, the Royal Conservatory said, you've got to have a look at this incredible new resource. So wow. you had some big fans right off uh -huh. the get-go. Um, why was Zoomer Media a good choice for Ludwig van? Why, what did you see in that partnership? Uh, well, first of all, uh, Moses Neimer is sort of a hero of mine. I grew up watching much music, and when he called us and said he was interested in talking to us, um, it was sort of I was a very surreal moment for me. So there's a lot of synchronicity uh, surrounding what you guys do as a radio station and what we do as a publication for classical music, and it just made a lot of sense. And you guys are friends to the arts, and so are we. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. So uh, this is a building and an organization, as you just mentioned, mm -hmm. that there's a lot of resources here. It's all about arts. So what is your hope going forward? What are, you, what are your expansion plans, and what are you, are you dreaming up right now? Well, there's a few secrets. I'm not going to hey unveil them now. Uh -huh. yeah. um, but uh, you know, Moses and Zoomer Media brings resources to the table for us. And we're pretty small, um, so this is going to enable us to sort of uh, expand our coverage into new and exciting areas, including video, podcasting, uh, more features, just more content, and yeah, it's exciting. I know how I feel about it. I'm really excited to have you okay. uh, around the building. Michael nice. Vincent, publisher, editor-in-chief with Ludwig Van. Great to be with you. Welcome okay. to the team. Great Thank to you. be with you. Thank, Thank you. you. When we return, Daniel Bnukowski and Kathleen Kajioka in performance together with Bach, a special recital of Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue, and we'll meet Brett Chang from The Peak, an exciting company now a part of the Zoomer Media family. We are live from Zoomer Hall and the new Classical FM. Welcome back to Zoomer Hall. We are live from the Zoomerplex in downtown Toronto. What a night we're having. My name is Mark Wigmore. We're enjoying a special presentation from the New Classical FM and Zoomer Media. We're hearing music and poetry from our beloved New Classical FM hosts, including Marilyn Lightstone, Daniel Mukowski, of course, Kathleen Kajioka. And as well, we're celebrating the expansion of the Zoomer Media family tonight and speaking with innovators behind LudwigVan.com and the business digital offering The Peak. And we'll hear more from our founder, Moses Neimer, just a little later in the show. But back to the music right now. Daniel Mukowski at the piano, host of the Classical Jukebox, and Kathleen Kajioka, viola in hand, and a host of A Little Night Music, of course. And this is Bach's Viola da Gamba Sonata in G, the Allegro Moderato, live from Zoomer Hall here on the new Classical FM.
My goodness. The incredible Daniel Nukovsky, host of the Classical Jukebox, and so much more here at the New Classical FM, founder, artistic director of the Collingwood Summer Music Festival, and yes, concert pianist. We heard him there with Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. Ahead of that, with violist Kathleen Kajioka, host of A Little Night Music, in performance with J.S. Bach's Viola da Gamba Sonata in D and the fourth movement, Allegro. You're with the New Classical FM. My name is Mark Wigmore. Thank you for joining us, the Zoomer Hall Concert Series once again, and we're welcoming a new set of prestige uh, properties to the Zoomer Media family celebrating tonight. We heard moments ago from Michael Vincent, founder of Ludwig van Dot com joining the Zoomer Media family, and let's get to our second guest tonight, Brett Chang, co-founder of The Peak. And <laughs> This is the, some in-house fans, love it. Uh, the Media Collective Service helping Canada's modern business leaders get smarter, stay informed with news and content that is fast, entertaining, and digestible. Newsletters, podcasts, robust social media. It reaches over 100,000 people already, and I know there's going to be more in the months to come. So, Brett Chang, welcome to Zoomer Hall. Great to be with you. Thanks so much. Thrilled to be here. Uh, we, you saw a need for this service a few years back. And so what was your vision for business leaders? What is it you set out to do? Business news is really important, especially for young people. And if you look at how legacy media has been covering business news, it's usually longer form and it's filled with jargon and really hard to understand. And a lot of young people were just turned off by all of it. And so what we wanted to do was take those complicated stories that are really important, but break them down into what we call never boring business news. And that's where the idea for our newsletter came from, which is a fast and fun read that only takes about five minutes to get through. And now we've got podcasts and social videos and great events as well. I can see how that is going to be a huge resource as uh, we get to more and more people with that. So a new collaboration with Zoomer Media. Why did you like the idea of this move? Well, I think in short, Moses' vision for the future of community media aligned perfectly with ours and where we see the puck going. And I think when you just look at the Zoomerplex itself and all the resources that are available to us, especially on the sales front, we see a ton of opportunity to grow not just our audience, which is obviously critical to us, but our revenue as well and build a real sustainable business in Canadian media, which I think is very challenging to do, but this is the place to do it. Okay. And so that is the future. I mean, you're looking ahead. I mean, what are the steps you're going to be taking in the next year, perhaps? Yeah, we've got lots of lots planned. Now, we only look quarter by quarter ahead, so it's tougher to look farther than that. But Like a real businessman. Yeah, right exactly. We operate on a quarterly basis, but we're really excited just about getting deeper into the Zoomer ecosystem, working with Daily Hive and Blogtio, their great digital properties that they've recently acquired, and figuring out how can we have that synergistic relationship that will allow all of us to grow our audiences and reach more Canadians. I just love the building already with those uh, other uh, elements you talked about, Blogtio and, and uh, the Daily Hive and so on. So Brett Chang with The Peak, it's just we're looking forward to the future here with you, and uh, thanks for being with us. Thanks so much, Appreciate Mark. It. All right. When we return, back to the music, Daniel Dukowski and Kathleen Kajioka in performance together, and we'll take a Baroque break. Telemann's Viola uh, Concerto in D. Kathleen will continue to look at the Bach cello suites, plus Zoomer Media founder Moses Dimer will share his thoughts on the expansion of the Zoomer Media family. And the voice of the new classical FM, Marilyn Lightstone, shares a few parting words from a literary icon. We are live from Zoomer Hall here on the new classical FM. Live from the Zoomerplex in downtown Toronto, live from Zoomer Hall. My name is Mark Wigmore, enjoying a very special presentation from the New Classical FM and Zoomer Media tonight. We're hearing music and poetry from our beloved New Classical FM hosts, including Marilyn Lightstone, Daniel Nukowski, and Kathleen Kajioka as well. We're celebrating the expansion of Zoomer Media tonight and speaking with the innovators behind LudwigVan.com, The Peak, and we'll hear from our founder, Moses, in just a few moments here. But back to the music right now. And uh, it's going to be Kathleen Kajioka uh, in performance with the Bach Cello Suites, and we'll hear number three. Here on the New Classical FM. Thank you. 
Thank you.
Well, just wonderful. You're with the New Classical FM live from Zoomer Hall on the New Classical FM and classicalfm.ca. My name is Mark Wigmore. We are celebrating an exciting expansion of the Zoomer Media family tonight. And we just heard violist Kathleen Kajioka, host of A Little Night Music, in performance with JS Box, Cello Suite Number no. 3, and then Kathleen and pianist Daniel Mukowski, uh, host of the Classical Jukebox, performing Telemann's Viola Concerto in G and the second movement, Allegro. We're also welcoming a new set of prestige properties and partnerships to the Zoomer Media family this evening. We heard moments ago from Michael Vincent, the founder of LudwigVen.com, and as well, Brett Chang from The Peak. And we've enjoyed classical music. We've heard from two brilliant business and creative leaders. So let's hear from another one, a man who needs little introduction, founder of Zoomer Media, the mind behind countless iconic arts and media organizations. Of course, the entire collection of Zoomer Media offerings, television, radio, print, web, and a long list beyond that. We welcome Moses. So, hello everybody. The, the origin of this celebratory concert and party, and party, goes back to the day in uh, February of this year when we announced our new relationship with CAA at the CARP Annual General Meeting. Now, CARP and Zoomer had just come out of a long, uncollaborative, uncreative, and unrewarding relationship with a private sector insurance provider <laughs> whose name we will not mention. And free at last, free at last, we were delighted and excited to find ourselves in short order in partnership with a dynamic and uh, forward-thinking 115-year-old not-for-profit institution famous for its service and widely considered among the most trusted brands in Canada. So to mark that transformative moment and to say thank you to CAA for your business and for the endorsation of our talents and capabilities that it demonstrates, we wanted to do something unusual, something special, something up close and personal that mere money could not buy like a private concert of music and poetry, but not featuring artists hired for the occasion, rather featuring the great artists in our own staff, like Daniel and Marilyn and Kathleen. We're proud of the world-class talent that we foster here at Zoomer. We accommodate and budget their schedule so that we can continue, so that, I'm sorry, they can continue to concertize or act or otherwise do their thing the world over. We think that being a practicing performer brings something extra to the way in which our material is presented with context, with understanding, and enriched by personal stories based on firsthand encounters with some of the greatest personalities and stars of the day. Talent is also what attracted me to Ludwig van and the peak as it did when I first checked out Blog TO and the Daily Hive. Of course, these are profitable new style media businesses on a tear, but what Michael, Brett, Taylor, Alex, and Tim of Blog TO and Carm of Daily Hive, who by the way are both in the audience here this evening, what they bring to Zoomer is a new generation perspective, an energy, a new way of thinking, writing, shooting, telling, and selling to take Zoomer Media into this future. This concert also marks an unusual turn for me. Previously, City, Much, CP24, Bravo, Space, Music Plus, Music Max, and all the other channels and their constituent programs were startups, the content of which I pretty much developed from scratch. But Blog and Hive and Ludwig 
and the peak are the creations of people whose products I admire and whose rapid development and growth I want to propel. And what I particularly want to point out to all of you is that these early stage companies that we've acquired and their leaders, the thing I want you to know about them is that no one is being bailed out here and no one is taking the money and running, but that they're all still in it to win it together. So from boomers and Gen X to millennials and Gen Zs, from the oldest demos to the youngest, we're all Zoomers now. Thank you, thank you. And here again is Marilyn Lightstone to bring this live celebration and radio cast to a close. Marilyn. Thank you, my love. The second poem was written by an extraordinary poet. You all know her name, I'm sure. Maya Angelou. The name of the poem is Alone. Lying, thinking last night, how to find my soul a home where water is not thirsty and bread loaf is not stone. I came up with one thing, and I don't believe I'm wrong, that nobody, but nobody, can make it out here alone. Alone. All alone. Nobody, but nobody, can make it out here alone. There are some millionaires with money they can't use. Their wives run around like banshees. Their children sing the blues. They've got expensive doctors to cure their hearts of stone. But nobody, no, nobody can make it out here alone. Alone. All alone. Nobody but nobody can make it out here alone. Now, if you listen closely, I'll tell you what I know. Storm clouds are gathering. The wind is gonna blow. The race of man is suffering. And I can hear the moan, cause nobody, but nobody can make it here alone. Alone, all alone, nobody, but nobody can make it here alone. Thank you. And we are not alone. We are together uh, here in this family. We are live from Zoomer Hall. Thanks to our new Classical FM hosts right here, our talented performers tonight, Danu Mnukowski, Kathleen Kajioka, and Marilyn Lightstone. And thanks to Ludwig Vans, Michael Vincent, The Peaks, Brett Chang, and uh, as well, of course, Moses, our Zoomer Media founder. Thanks to our live studio audience. Thank you to all of you for being here. Thank you to our radio and television crew. Thanks for listening at the new Classical FM and classicalfm.ca. My name is Mark Wigmore. Back tomorrow, 3 o'clock, for another edition of The Oasis. And we'll look forward to seeing you again live from Zoomer Hall. Thank you. <laughs>